Hello and welcome to my tutorial on Absinthe. Today I'm going to be talking about granular synthesis within the patch window of Absinthe. Firstly, load a new sound. Then, within the oscillator modes, select granular. Underneath granular, where it says none, click and select your sample from your hard drive. Now that you've selected your sample from your hard drive, have a look at the mod panel. Note that middle C will play the sample back unaltered in its original form. And get your paper! By adjusting the time parameter, we can adjust the playback speed. So 50% will be half speed. And get your paper! And 200 will be double speed. And get your paper! And so on. Note that time isn't interlinked with pitch. If we want to alter the pitch, we can use the transposition here in the main panel. And get your paper! And get your paper! If we set a value of zero as the time value, the sample will freeze. This is interesting when used in conjunction with the start function because we can scroll through the sample from start to finish or from finish to start. And get your paper, yeah, and get your paper, yeah, which is a good effect and can be also very useful if you use with an envelope or by mapping it to your MIDI controllers. Now that we've talked about time, transposition and the start point, let's have a look at the remaining parameters. To understand these remaining parameters, you'll need a basic understanding of granular synthesis. The way in which granular synthesis operates is by splitting up a sound into little fragments known as grains. These grains are then reassembled by a process called resynthesis and form what is known as a grain cloud. The density of the grain cloud is controlled by the density control here, which controls the number of grains that are to be played simultaneously. A value of 8 will produce a rich sound as it will be dense in layers, and a value of 1 will produce a thinner sound. So we'll hear what 8 sounds like. And get your paper! The original sound as opposed to 1. And get your paper! Here the little jitters and artifacts can be heard there, as well as it being a thinner cloud. The size controls the number of samples. So at the moment it's 4096. And it can be adjusted up to 10,000 when a sample rate is 44.1. And the minimum is 128. This basically determines the length of every grain in samples. So more dense and more samples will obviously require more processing power but should sound smoother and richer. Now that we've looked at time, density, size, transposition and the start parameter, let's have a look at the parameters that are prepended by the letter R. R stands for random, so Let's have a look at R freq. R freq random frequency. This controls the random amount of the frequency value applied to each grain. So a value of zero will be no randomness, no random frequency values applied to the grains, and a value of a hundred will be complete randomness. Get your paper. Get your paper. Get your paper. Get your paper. Our time defines the randomness of the grain's playback speed. Again, 0 is no randomness and 100 is total randomness. And get your paper! And get your paper! And get your paper! And get your paper! It almost has preverb type qualities or reverb, which is quite an interesting sound. And get your paper! And get your paper! And get your paper! And get your paper! Our amplitude will create random amplitude values for each grain. Again, 0 is the minimum and 100 is the maximum. And get your paper! 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 OK, that just about covers it. So, I hope you've learned something from this. And thank you for watching.
enjoy. Bye.